In this video, we're going to look at adding funds to a liquidity pool. You'll remember from a previous video that we staked Sol, and when we staked our Sol, we got MSOL in return. Well, we're going to use that MSOL now to stake in a liquidity pool. The MSOL was issued by Marinade Finance, and I've navigated directly to navigate to Marinade Finance. You'll find a link to this in the course resources. Once you get here, if you go to the app, so I'm going to select go to app. And once we go to the app, we'll also need to connect our wallet. Now connecting your, you'll need to connect your wallet to any Web3 website that you want to work with. So I'm going to select connect wallet and I'm going to select my Soulflare wallet. This is going to ask me, do I want to connect to an extension or a web wallet? I'm going to connect to my extension. Now it's asking me if I want to allow notifications or trust this app. So if you trust it, it means that you log into it automatically next time you connect. So I'm going to select connect and I'm not going to enable these notifications. Now we can see in here that we can stake Solana. This is staking Solana like we did directly from our Soulflare wallet. But we can go into Marinade Finance and we can stake directly in here. So in here, you would enter the amount of Sol that you have, press stake Sol and you will receive the MSOL. What we want to look at in this video is the DeFi options. And we want to participate in DeFi by liquidity providing. There are three options or three opportunities on Marinade. We have Marinade staking. And Marinade staking is staking the native MSOL token. There are three options here available. We can stake it on its own. So this is a single sided pool and this is the APY or the return that you get. The TVL is the total locked value. That's how much is already locked in this pool or this smart contract. Down here, we then have two separate liquidity pools and these are two sided. We have MSOL to SOL paying 3% and MSOL to SOL paying 8%. Now this one you will mine MNDE so once you've staked you're going to mine MNDE. Under liquidity providing we can see all the two sided pools and the return in APY and the total value locked along with the provider. Marinade is an aggregator. It goes and it looks for all of the best pools. And the, some of these pools are not on the Marinade Finance, but are on Radium. This one is on Saber and so forth. The tokens that we have are MSOL and USTC. And this is what we are going to provide liquidity to. There's also the option for lending and collateral. So you can lend your MSOL. And for lending your MSOL on uh, Synthify, you'll get 13%. But for lending it on Solend, you're only going to get 1.2%. So there's different returns that you can get. Using lending and collateral, when you add your funds to the pool, when you supply to a pool, you're allowing other people to borrow from that pool at this predefined interest rate. You can also, as you can see, borrow directly from this pool. So we're going to go back into liquidity providing and I'm going to select add liquidity for the pair that we have. And this brings us to the Radium web website. I need to also connect to this website because I want to interact with this particular website. So I'm going to select connect and say not now. So what we've been shown here is the area to add liquidity to the pool. Now let me explain. When you're adding liquidity to a two-sided pool, you need to add equal value in dollar amount to both sides of the pool. For example, if I take my MSOL and just take half, I've got 0.93 and just take half, it's coming in at 1667. It automatically takes the same amount of my SOL, in this case 1667 worth of SOL. Now, it's not Sol that I want to add to the pool. What I want to add to the pool is USDC. USDC, I've got $30 worth. And with my MSOL, I've got $33 worth. So I can't stake all of my MSOL because I'm short $3. So if I select max 
on my USDC, it selected the right amount of MSOL to add to the pool. So you're adding equal amounts to each pool. If you need to buy a token in advance so you can add them to the pool, you can use the swap feature. And the swap feature will allow you to exchange one token for another. So back into my liquidity, and I'm gonna scroll down here for a second. And we need to make some confirmations here. So you need to read the liquidity guide and confirm. Now I'm gonna say all of this with a health warning because we haven't gone through the liquidity guide. When you stake into a pool, there is risk involved. And this risk is known as impermanent losses. What impermanent losses means is that you may not get back the same amount of tokens that you originally added to the pool. So these pools are automated market makers and they work by balancing out the price of the pool. So when you add MSOL and USDC in equal amounts to the pool, somebody can then come along and they can take out some MSOL, which means then that the value of USDC against the MSOL slightly changes to reflect the quantity that's held in the pool. So I'm gonna scroll down here and I am going to add this liquidity. Now, when I add the liquidity, we see the transaction comes up here for us to approve. And we make sure that we read the transaction before we approve it. So we can see that this has now been added to the pool. Solana is extremely fast. And if we scroll down, we can see our liquidity section. Now we can see in our liquidity section, that we have a pooled amount, we have a pooled quota, and we have our liquidity. It is from in here, if we wanted to remove liquidity, that we would remove the liquidity. So to remove liquidity, you need to press this minus button here, remove liquidity. Then you can select the amount that you want to remove. So let's say we're moving the maximum and select remove liquidity. And once you remove it, the um, original tokens, the MSOL and USDC will be returned to your wallet. Now, it's important to note that you've now staked here on Radium. We haven't staked on Marinade Finance. So when you want to check your staking pool, check your liquidity, remove liquidity or increase liquidity, you need to make sure you navigate to Radium.io. It's a good idea to bookmark anywhere that you do have added funds to a pool. And there are tools that you can use to keep track of all the DeFi products that you're using.